the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Good Ngayong morning. Sabado, na pangkaraniwan inaalay natin sa mahal na birhen, ay ngayon ay special na piyesta ng mahal na birhen, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Prepare ourselves. Celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let's call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercies forgive us our sins, bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in failing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may we be set free from present sorrow, come to enjoy eternal happiness to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Mika. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning light, they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat an owner of his houses, a man of his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this race and evil, from which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. On that day, a satire shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete, our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are mashed out, and no one can get them back. Thus, you shall have no one to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Proudly the wicked harass the afflicted, who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. Do not forget o the poor, O Lord. For the wicked man glories in his greed and the covetous blasphemes, sets the Lord at naught, the wicked man boast. He will not avenge it. There is no God. Sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush near the villages. In hiding, he murders the innocent. His eyes 
spy upon the unfortunate. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You the sea, for you behold misery and sorrow, taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless, you are the helper. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Please stand. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Then the Pharisees went out and made plans to get rid of Jesus. As Jesus was aware of their plans, he left that place. Many people followed him, and he cured all who were sick. But he gave them strict orders not to make him known. In this way, Isaiah's prophecy was fulfilled. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, the one I love and with whom I am pleased. I'll put my spirit upon him and he will announce my judgment to the nations. He will not argue or shout, nor will his voice be heard in the streets. The bruised reed he will not crush, nor snuff out the smoldering wick until he brings his justice to victory. And in him all nations will put their hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Gandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Tatlong bagay. Isang bagay. Naked we were born. And naked we are going to die. Ito ay mga salita ni Job na napakalalim pag naisipin natin mabuti. Hubad tayo pinanganak. Hubad tayo babalik sa ating pinanggalingan. Mahalaga natin iniisip na lahat ng bagay, including ourselves, ay may katapusan. Pag iniisip natin na lahat na may, ay may katapusan, including our own selves, may epekto sa ating behavior, sa ating diskarte. Isipin natin na lahat na bagay may katapusan, mag-iisip-isip tayo na ayusin natin ang ating pamumuhay. At alam natin, kung dito sa mundo, tinuturuan tayo between good and evil, ibig sabihin, merong judgment sa bandang uli. Isipisipin natin ito mabuti. Pangalawang punto. Learn to love one another. Alam natin mahirap magmahal sa mga taong 
wala tayong nakikita kundi ang kanilang limitations. Pag tayo parating inaasal, pag tayo lahat pinahihirapan, still to follow the commandments, learn to love our neighbor. Kung hindi tayo marunong magmahal sa ating katabi, doon tayo mahihirapan. Because love is important with our Lord. Sunod. To be detached from all created things. Huwag tayong materyoso. Huwag tayong mukhang pera. Mahirap yan. Pag ang ating puso ay nandoon sa mga nabubulok, ganun din ang pagkabulok natin pag tayo'y pumikit. And finally, turo ni Santa Teresa de Avila. Let us work for true humility na tayo'y matuto magpakumbaba. Ito ang pinakamahirap. Ang tunay magpakumbaba. Alam naman natin ang Pilipino ay palaaway Diba? Palaway tayo. Konting isip na tayo inaisahan, susugod. Uh, kikipag-away. Swerte kayo pag sa inyong pamilya ay matahimik ang mga kasama mo. Malas nyo pag ang kasama nyo sa buhay sa pamamahay ay sigawan. Masamang simtoma. Sabi ni Santa Teresa, tandaan nyo, hindi tayo pwedeng magdasal pag tayo'y materyoso at mayabang. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Let us turn to God, our merciful Father, who never turns His back on the poor and those in need. Ang ating sagot, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may be seen as the home of the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may truly render service to their constituents in the right spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated persons may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the Church through their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those who suffer and those who are ill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us, may, let us now pray for those who have forgotten to go to Mass, and especially for those who have forgotten to go to confession. Merciful Father, make us true servants of your love. May we become more and more like your Son, who came to serve and not to be served. This we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, your goodness is this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become our spiritual bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the midst of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, humble himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, you have this wine to offer. For the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble, contrite heart. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Give Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty, our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and exaltation of the saints, especially as we celebrate in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Proclaim your kindness as we echo a thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things, extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked in the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us to her author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praises we acclaim. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, and her dwelling lane to his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving thanks. Gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. it is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partake of the body and blood of Christ, to be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, the Archbishop, Fidelis, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let's now pray with confidence of the Father and the words the Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace the grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other design of peace. Peace, peace be with peace. you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Bukas, huwag niyong kalimutan. Magsisimba kayo ulit. Ngayon, kapistahan ng Mahala Birhen, tumingi tayo ng isang bagay lalo na may yung pangailangan natin. Huwag para yung maman, pero parang para tumino ang ating kaluluwa. Blessing of the sick. God, our mighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed, made holy, in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.